Hey guys, Road Rage Fusion here from Road Rage Studios, bringing you episode 31 of Road Rage Racetracks. This episode, Locust Assault by Has2K9. Uh, I want to start off by saying this map is unbelievable in terms of aesthetics. They are the best aesthetics I have ever seen in a race map. I can say that very easily. Um, it, the aesthetics are unbelievable. Although there's not tons of them, well, no, actually, there is, quite, looking at this, I didn't notice, there is the crates and stuff uh, around the actual track. Uh, so there is a lot of aesthetics, and all of the aesthetics are very good. Um, I did fail here. I fell off. Yeah, that turn can be quite difficult, but you have to go, I think, up on the outside as you go in around here, as it is I drove on the inside. Um, and well, you and just try and stay on the inside around here. Otherwise, you're gonna slide off the end like I just did. So the track also is incredibly smooth. I don't really have any complaints with the actual track. Um, it does transition onto terrain a few times in shallow water, which I really like. Um, I think it looks really nice. Uh, so the aesthetics, and I'm guessing this map is based around Gears of War. Um, I don't know if it's one of them in particular, because of the name Locust Assault, and Locust is something in Gears of War. I have Gears of War too, um, but I don't know tons about it. And they look a bit like something you'd find in there. So uh, if you guys know anything different, uh, please leave it in the comments. Um, yeah, inform me. So yeah, the uh, as I said, the actual track is very very good. Um, the aesthetics, unbelievable. I've never seen such good aesthetics, and they're just so big. Um, it they are very 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 huge, really. I've never seen uh, themed aesthetics quite that big. I've seen like lighthouses or something, but nothing with a particular theme. But this is it's just great the ratings at the end are the best we've given so far and um, i only did two laps of this track because um it's quite a long track i think with a lap time of about almost two minutes um i can't remember exactly uh so we only did two laps um I almost fell off there uh to minimize the length of the video because uh, otherwise half of you would have left by now anyway so uh, yeah so I like where this where the map is built I think you don't you see sorry you do see quite a lot of maps around here but not usually on the ground usually sky tracks that use sometimes part of I think it's Alaska I'm not sure Alaska on top of the big cave there I've seen quite a few of them uh, so we'll be getting onto the ratings in a second. Uh, yeah, so about now. Okay, so for originality, I give it an 8 out of 10. Um, it's a pretty original track. It, I really like it. Aesthetics, 10 out of 10. Definitely. They're, they're just unbelievable. Smoothness, 9 out of 10. There is a couple of bits transitioning onto the ground, which are slightly bumpy, but apart from that, it's perfect. And then fun, 9 out of 10, um, because it's just so fun. I, this is one of my favourite double words. Uh, yeah, I try not to ever say my favourite. I try and say one of them, because that can change. Okay, so now for two videos you may have missed. The one on the left is Speed Element by Timpanic Metal, and the one on the right is Magzor Race by Vork. Both very nice racetracks. The one on the right, incredible aesthetics. Uh, and originality. Rotary Fusion, signing out. See you guys.